Palawan is an archipelagic province of the Philippines that is located in the region of Mimaropa. It is the largest province in the country in terms of total area of jurisdiction. Its capital is the city of Porto Princesa, but the city is governed independently from the province as a highly urbanized city. The islands of Palawan stretch between Mindoro in the northeast and Borneo in the southwest. It lies between the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea, and the Sulu Sea. The province is named after its largest island, Palawan Island, 09 degree 30 and 118 degrees 30 minutes east, measuring 450 kilometers, 280 miles, long, and 50 kilometers, 31 miles, wide. The province is composed of the long and narrow Palawan Island, plus a number of other smaller islands surrounding it, totaling roughly 1,780 islands and islets. The Colomians group of islands to the northeast consists of Bujuanga, Karan, Kulian, and Linapakan Islands. Balabac Island is located off the southern tip, separated from Borneo by the Balabac Strait. In addition, Palawan covers the Kyo Islands in the Sulu Sea. The disputed Spratly Islands, located a few hundred kilometers to the west, are considered part of Palawan by the Philippines, and is locally called the Kalayan Group of Islands. Palawan's almost 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles, of irregular coastline is lined with rocky coves and sugar-white sandy beaches. It also harbors a vast stretch of virgin forests that carpet its chain of mountain ranges. The mountain heights average 3,500 feet, 1,100 m, in altitude, with the highest peak rising to 6,843 feet, 2,086 m, at Mount Mantalangahan. The vast mountain areas are the source of valuable timber. The terrain is a mix of coastal plain, craggy foothills, valley deltas, and heavy forest interspersed with river Rhine arteries that serve as irrigation. The province has a total land area of 14,649.73 square kilometers, 5,656.29 square miles. When Porto Princesa City is included for geographical purposes, its land area is 17,030.75 square kilometers, 6,575.61 square miles. The land area is distributed to its mainland municipalities, comprising 12,239 square kilometers, 4,726 square miles, and the island municipalities, which altogether measure 2,657 square kilometers, 1,026 square miles. In terms of archipelagic internal waters, Palawan has the biggest marine resources that covers almost half of the Sulu Sea and a big chunk of the South China Sea that is within the municipal waters of Kalayan Municipality which was official annexed to the Philippine jurisdiction by virtue of Presidential Decree 1596 dated June 11, 1978. The early history of Palawan was determined by a team of researchers led by Dr. Robert B. Fox. They found evidence in the Taban Caves that humans have lived in Palawan for more than 50,000 years. They also found human bone fragments, from an individual known as Taban Man, in the municipality of Quezon, as well as tools and other artifacts. Although the origin of the cave dwellers is not yet established, anthropologists believe they came from Borneo. The Taban Caves are now known as the Cradle of Philippine Civilization. Palawan Island Philippines is the largest island. The island is half desert, so still undeveloped. You can enjoy the jungle, mountains, and white beaches. Palawan Island has been rated by National Geographic Traveler magazine as Best Southeast Asia Region in 2007, and the 13th Best Island in the World. Is the most biodiverse islands in the Philippines. Palawan is an archipelago with 1,780 islands on the western part. Due to amazing landscapes and high biodiversity, Palawan Island is known as the last ecological frontier of the Philippines. The northern part is characterized by incredible clear waters, white beaches, and many species of flora and fauna. Here at north there are most visited places like El Nido and Taytay, 
characterized by limestone cliffs and underwater with many species of tropical fish and coral, also are present five species of endangered sea turtles. Jungle have about 100 different species of birds. So, this is a real amazing tropical destination to relax and enjoy yourself. If you like tropical islands maybe you also could like on of the most beautiful island in Cambodia, visit Koh Rong Island, still undeveloped, good place for snorkeling, scuba diving, or a trekking into the jungle. Main destinations are the capital Porto Princesa, El Nido on the north of island and also Karan Island where you can relax and do good snorkeling and diving. Also San Vicente is another top destination on Palawan Island. El Nido and Tete, characterized by limestone cliffs and underwater with many species of tropical fish and coral, also are present five species of endangered sea turtles. Jungle have about 100 different species of birds. So, this is a real amazing tropical destination to relax and enjoy yourself. In the southwest coast of El Nido you can visit some islands that are around Bacuit Bay. Puerto Princesa is a city in a paradise place, where also you can do shopping in your free time. Not so far from the city you can reach white beaches and the jungle for a relaxed time. Puerto Princesa Palawan was born only in 1970. Inhabitants are more or less 151,000, and main occupation are on agriculture and fishing. Puerto Princesa Philippines climate have wet and dry seasons. September is the wettest month, while February is the driest month. From October to April, the northeast monsoon hit with waves on the coast while southwest monsoon hit from April to August. Best period to come to Puerto Princesa is from April to June, when sea is calm. Humidity is high while temperatures are at an average of 27 degrees. Could need warm clothing during nights in the rainy season. San Vicente is a fishing village, and you can reach by banca or bone-shaking jeepna from Princesa. Most attraction here is the Long Beach, 14 kilometers of white sand, an undeveloped place, considered the best beach in the country. If you visit it now you are still lucky, because still undeveloped, there is already in program for the airport and resort construction, so if you like half desert places go there now. Reach the Long Beach can be easy with a motorcycle. San Vicente is a fishing village, and you can reach by banca or bone shaking jeepna from Princesa. Most attraction here is the Long Beach, 14 kilometers of white sand, an undeveloped place, considered the best beach in the country. If you visit it now you are still lucky, because still undeveloped, there is already in program for the airport and resort construction, so if you like half desert places go there now. Reach the Long Beach can be easy with a motorcycle. Oh yeah. Before I forget, hit the subscribe button below for more videos to come. YouTube will notify you our new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.